Hi, this is Scott Dudley and in this video we're going to take a look at date range controls in Looker Studio and we're basically going to look at why you need it, how it works, how to set it up then we'll look at custom date ranges and also grouping charts by date ranges so the the date range control is necessary if you're wanting to be able to change the date ranges of a particular report so um, as in the the main GA4 interface there's an option up the top right hand side where you can change the date ranges and it's pretty much exactly the same concept in Looker Studio and it just provides the user with a lot more flexibility and options to find the exact information that they need so this is the date range control up the top here um, and what we'll do is we'll delete that and we'll just start from scratch so the way that you're going to add this is you're going to go up the top here to add a control and then you're going to go to date range control here the third option from the bottom and then you can drag this around usually it's up the top right hand side but you can put it wherever you want obviously so I'm just going to drop it in there and then from there you've got the options of selecting an auto date range so you click on that and what this means is that whenever the report loads it will automatically load with the date range that you select here so for example if I click the drop down arrow and if I click the last seven days and then click apply and then if we click on view then when the report loads it will automatically load the last seven days and update these um, charts based on this date information here okay so you've got quite a few options in there you can do anything from uh, last 7 14 28 30 days today yesterday all sorts of options here last week uh, last month this quarter this year to date so lots of different options there that you can choose and obviously once the user has uh, well once the report is loaded the user is able to then choose their own dates up the top here so this that setting is just basically the default for when the report loads so this date range control here it will update all of these charts based on on this date so if I go back to the view option here and then if I change it to the last 14 days instead of the last seven days and click apply then all of these charts here will update based on that the only exception to that is if you use custom uh, date ranges for the particular charts okay so say for this pie chart here you wanted to have this uh, set to specific dates that won't be updated when you change the dates in here then you would click on the chart and then you would go into uh, the default date range and you can see that it's set to auto by default but if you want to change that to a custom date range and you click on custom and then um, you can change that in here to whatever you want so we could say the last 28 days for example and click on apply and then that particular chart will stay or it will be stuck on the last 28 days so if we go into the view menu again and then if we change this from the last 14 days to the last seven days and click apply and you'll see that it will only change this chart on the left and this chart on the right because I have set that to a fixed date range of the last 28 days all right so that's pretty self-explanatory and then the other thing that you can do as well is you can group charts by date ranges so if we go back into edit and then I'll go back to this chart and I will change it back to auto and then say for example we wanted to have both this pie chart and this uh, bar chart here 
set to a specific date range and that would mean then that this date range control here once this is updated then it will only update this particular line chart over here so we'd need to group these two together so we click on that chart and then we click on that chart and then we right click and then there's an option here to group so you click on group and then you would select your data source and then just like what we did before with this uh, pie chart it's we've got the option here for the default date range so we'll change that to custom and then we'll change this one to the last 14 days and then we'll click apply and then that will mean that when we change this date range control up the top here it won't touch these because we've set them to a, this group to a custom date range it will only update this line chart here if we go back to view and we test this out so currently it's in the last seven days so if I change that to the last 14 days click on apply then you'll notice that this chart changed but these two charts here stay fixed because they're grouped and they're both set to that same date range control so if you don't set up any particular uh, customized date ranges for the charts or group them then what will happen is that all of the charts on the canvas will update when you update the date range up the top here okay so hopefully that makes sense if you've got any questions with that then just let me know in the comments and hopefully you found that useful